What's up, everybody? Silas back again with another video. And, uh, I'm going to be talking with you guys about something that has been on my mind a lot lately. Um, I don't really have a set lesson plan for this one. It's kind of more of a discussion, uh, an opinion-based thing. Um, and, you know, give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. Because um, I would like to know everyone's thoughts on this. Uh, but I'm going to be just be talking with you guys about uh, my personal opinion on uh, the value of, of strength and virtue and uh, having standards for yourself, holding yourself to a certain standard and taking care of yourself on a certain level. I'll be breaking this down more within the next few videos, practices that I do, you know, spiritual practices, but I just want to talk to you guys about it because going into 2022, I'm seeing a lot of social chaos, uh, people lowering their standards. Uh, there's an increase of depression, you know, people, mental illness is at a sky high right now. And uh, I think there's a lot of different factors to that. I think that uh, the technology that we're exposed to, you know, the chemicals that we're constantly exposed to in our foods, as I've talked about in the previous videos, um, being mentally overstimulated, you know, people not sleeping right. Uh, we're constantly exposed to doses of radiation. People are just sucked into their phones. Uh, and that puts our mind in a state of constantly racing. Like there's not much of a, not much of a chance for people to slow down uh, and take a step back and realize how mentally kerfuffled everyone is. You know, uh, like people are constantly looking for just the next thing that'll feel good instead of taking a step back and being like, okay, what is going to be good for me? You know, <clears throat> not what feels good, what is going to be good long term? You know, what practices can I pick up? What habits can I do that will improve my life instead of just going and doing what feels good in the moment? Because more often than not, it's not the actual path that we should be going down. Chasing what feels good is often just a short-term dopamine rush that puts us into a state of dependency uh, that is oftentimes unbreakable if we're too deep into it. Um, and me personally, I, I've struggled, or I, you know, I struggled and I still do struggle, but mostly used to struggle a lot more with keeping myself on the right track, keeping myself focused and avoiding things that are distractions or uh, immediate forms of, uh, you know, immediate gratification and uh, self-pleasure, you know, for example, you know, prawn, as they say, or, um, you know, playing too much video games, drinking too many sugary drinks, uh, sleeping in, not lifting, eating crappy food, going out and partying uh, and just spending time around uh, things and people that won't help me to achieve, you know, what I want to achieve. And I think that's what we all need to do is take a step back and realize, you know, what behaviors are we enabling ourselves to perform that is holding us back? You know, what, what can we do for ourselves to improve every day, you know? And it's, it doesn't have to be massive changes. It doesn't have to be a vast improvement one day because the fact of the matter is, is that you're not gonna see immediate changes within one day of change. It takes consistency. You have to show up for yourself every day. You can't miss, you know, you can't miss days and make excuses for yourself to, to miss that because the fact of the matter is, is that life will always give you a reason not to show up for yourself. And if you listen to that voice, then you're gonna go a whole lot of nowhere. Um, and that's what I've realized, uh, is that you have to listen to that voice that's telling you what to do in terms of work. Because we all know what we need to do internally, we all know what we want to do, but half the time, the world just, you know, the majority of the time, the world hoists rolls upon us and they want and the world wants you to fill a role and people in your life will want you to fill a role for them. But that's not 
who we are as individuals. We all have our own lives that we want to live and own things that we want to do. So do what makes you happy and don't do what's going to make someone else happy because it's not going to make you happy. Fulfilling someone else's desires will not fulfill your desires. And thinking that that's the case is just, you know, completely wrong. Don't have someone else be the center of your own universe. You need to be the center of your own universe. And that's the thing is you're not the center of anyone else's universe either. You make your, you make your life, you know, how you see it. And, uh, you know, based on your own choices and health, uh, you know, practices for me, that just means, uh, simply, you know, being, being able to be consistent with my own work and being consistent in my own beliefs and not doubting myself because I think what's happening is there's a lot of people just constantly questioning and doubting their own decisions because of how much we're overstimulated and how many different opinions people are putting out there and how much, you know, it's just neurological overstimulation. More, you know, simply put, they're, the only way we can do it is, the only way we can avoid that is by taking a step back and stepping away from technology, stepping away from the pleasure seeking and stepping away from the immediate gratification, stepping away from the junk food and realizing that we're still here as humans, like we're put on this earth, we still have power within our own lives. And the more power that we give to other things, the more we let things occupy our mind, the less time we have to figure out what we actually want to do with ourselves and what our, you know, our passions are and what our real pursuits are going to be. And I think that we just, we need to stay focused as people. We need to be strong and we need to, you know, there is a voice in your head that says, don't be doing this, Silas, you know? And I think it's probably the same for everyone else. Because everyone does hear that voice that says, you shouldn't be doing this or you should avoid this. But we choose to ignore that, but we shouldn't choose to ignore that. That is the voice that is guiding us in the right direction. And if we ignore that, even if it means sacrificing what feels good, long term, it is what will help us grow to be the bigger and better person. And that is what's changed my life, is listening to the voice that's like, you know, this is going to be hard. This is going to be hard work, but it's worth it long term. The changes that we can see within ourselves and within the people that we love when we decide to change our own lives is incredibly significant. And it just helps us get out of our own mental rut, out of our own depression that we often sink ourselves into. I'm going to talk more about this in the next couple of videos too, more specifically about, uh, you know, practices that I do. Um, and also talking a little bit more about uh, masculinity and femininity and uh, how those things are affecting our society right now. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just wanted to have a uh, talk with you guys about that. So, yeah.